hello, hello, everyone. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at myself because I am ridiculous. Um, I, oh, did I even turn my captions on? Okay, good, 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 good. Um, hi, everybody, it's Wednesday, um, and I'm doing a little bit of a different thing from my normal Wednesday routine, which is usually art, but uh, today I'm gonna be playing some more Ace Attorney because I'm doing an Ace Attorney week um, in, uh, in order to prepare myself for the Ace Attorney Chronicle, the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Um, I'm laughing at myself though because <laughs> I promised last time that I was going to practice a German accent and my, <laughs> my YouTube history is embarrassing and not for like the normal reason like wow she's such a nerd look at her looking at all these video essays about movies and video games and, and shit it's um I've I literally searched how to do a German accent <laughs> And so, oh, there's Minda. Um, and so I was uh, trying to teach myself how to actually get the right uh, inflection. And there was this guy that was teaching it. It was like the first video that came up on YouTube. I, I went through like the, a few of them. It wasn't just the first one, but I did watch his. It's from like, God, it's like 10 years old at this point. 2011 was the video date, which is like, it's like looking into a whole different universe because, wow, YouTube back in 2011 was a different beast. But anyway, he was like teaching you like, oh, you, you notice these different subtleties and nuances and like the German accent and speaking English. Um, and one of the things he just kept saying over and over again was, why is the voice like that? And it just, it just, it tickles me. So why is, why is the voice like that? That's, it's like a good calibrating phrase. Minda, was that you? Oh my goodness, did you guys hear that? Wait, was that you? Did you make that sound? What are you doing? She's like, mom, um, hello, I'm the center of attention. How dare you? Oh, come here, baby. Say hi to everybody. Always gotta be here for when the lights and the cameras are shining, huh? Aren't you so cute? Um, anyway, he kept saying, why is the voice like wine? And it's, why is the voice like wine? But he was talking about how in a German accent, I, I mean, at least in the stereotypical one, um, they, they don't say W's, they say V's, which I think was one of the few things I actually managed to, uh, kind of already know about it. I was just a little worried. Um, it actually... You know, listening to other people do German accents, it does hang pretty similar to a French accent. So that's kind of why I kept losing it into my little French accent. But I think, I think I've got enough intricacies of a difference that I, I think I might handle it now. I think I might be able to do it. Now, now that I've actually got a handle on it, watch uh, Von Karma, who I was supposed to be using it for, literally never show up again. I mean, that would just be my luck, so we'll see if that goes. Um, before I do anything else, though, I'm just going to throw those trigger warnings up one more time, since we are playing the same game. Um, uh, death, threats of death, obviously it's a murder mystery. Just going to run these off. I'm going to do this every single time, just for in case somebody knew. No, Midna, that is my pop filter. Please do not rub your face on it. I know it probably feels good on your cheekies, but no, ma'am. Um... <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm gonna do this every time just in case somebody new pops in. Um, just wanna get it out of the way at the top um, and make sure that people know what they're getting into. If, you know, hopefully, I know it's not perfect because people pop in and out at different times, but just for my, I don't know, I, I would feel better just having it at some point. So yes, uh, body shaming, it's happened again. <laughs> it happened in not, I mean, it happened last epi episode stream, but uh, it also happened before. Um, there is a woman in this particular case that is a little more full figured. And so they are not super great at handling anybody that, uh, oh, yeah, hello, Foxy OC. I, I, thank you again. I want to thank you again for the follow last time. I do not know what happened, but my stream software didn't, didn't, uh, like it didn't sync with my Twitch. So it didn't like record and do the little notification. So I'm sorry about that, but I was, hi, welcome again. Um, what was the other thing? Uh, violence, obviously, murder mystery. Uh, sometimes we talk about suicide um, and parental death. Uh, Edgeworth's father. Um, we're actually, this case is very much about fathers. And, and uh, I mean, the murder victim had a son. So um, we talk about that quite a bit. Uh, I don't, um, I think, you know what? I would, hmm. I guess, 
I, w- I was going to think about maybe adding guns to this list as like a trigger warning. Um, <laughs> yep, derp squared. Derp squared indeed. Um, I was thinking about adding guns to this trigger warning list, but there isn't really a gun in this case. But I guess it could be in a future case. I feel like that kind of goes under the death and threats of death and violence. Um, so just be aware if any of these become um, a little triggering for you. If you need to step out, that's absolutely fine. I'm here. We're here to we're here to have fun. And if this if anything causes you, if it hinders your fun, then then get it out of your life. You don't need that negativity. Anyway, moving right along. See, you know, I would say parental death does go under death, but my thing about parental death is it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, I feel like it's specific enough. I, this isn't a perfect list. I just kind of came up with this on, on my own. I, I'm, you know, it just feels like maybe, uh, it feels like it comes up in that specific death in the specific context of um, it being a parental figure or somebody very close to like a character or whatever um i feel like it comes up enough that i needed to mention it specifically because like some people can handle like death as like a concept but when it comes to suffering the death of a close loved one uh that can be really really uh, hard so i'm just trying to be inclusive but you know i am i'm not perfect the list isn't perfect (laughs) i came up with it myself so uh yeah um where was I? Where did I put my tab? Oh my god. I can't read. I can. It's right here. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're going to get back to our fun little case over here. Um, so last time we were talking to uh, Larice. Larice with his uh, sketch of the beauties. A little loud for me. Hopefully it's not too loud for y'all. Uh, I'm gonna do my mic fix real quick too, just in casey case, because my microphone does weird things. Okay, and I'm back on. There's a fruit fly. Anywho, um, doop doop. A sketch of the beauties, and I am including Delicia in that. The game may not, but I do, in my heart of hearts. So, <laughs> um, we jotted that down. Look it up, all so beautiful. Uh, what else? We should present more evidence to him. Um, what about this lift trolley? Hmm, aha! <laughs> Here's the title of my next picture book. Justy's Gaveling Gavel Gala. Oh wow, how alliterative. I'm sure the sales will rival even Franzi's whippity whip. Tr- oh wow, what a callback to uh, Francisca. Larry, would you just look at this evidence for a second? <laughs> huh? Would you what? <laughs> Am I invisible to him or something? Yes, Edgeworth, you are. Well, I guess that wasn't uh, a piece of evidence. Hi, Source Hill. How are you? All right. Uh, he's- I'll leave him to his sketching. Uh, can I talk to Delicia real quick? I feel like I have something- Nope, that's just last time we, uh, had that dialogue. Skip, skip, skip. Um, hmm. Can I talk to- You know what, I'll talk to, uh, Sweet Baby Ray. Miles, how's the investigation going? Gotta get my voice warmed up, cause- I was practicing my German a little too much. Why is the voice like that? <laughs> well, little by little, I'm beginning to see the entire truth behind this case. Oh, that's good to hear. Uncle Ray had better not fall behind either. This case seems to have a lot in common with the case 18 years ago. I agree. The melted ice in the Winter Palace and the body of the victim from 18 years ago. I wonder why nobody noticed the body was missing after all this time. The only family Mr. Dover had was a young son. His son and Mr. Gustavia's son, who attended the same elementary school. Oh wait, oh my god. Are they gonna be... Are they gonna be, like, the murderers? No, certainly not. Right? 
after the case, they both went missing. Oh my god, wait, what? What? And they haven't been found yet? I haven't heard any news about Mr. Gustavia's son being found. But as for Dover's son, he was found and his, and his inheritance was delivered to him. And because of that, Mr. Dover never had a proper funeral. Damn. That way, they were able to make it look like the body had been in police custody. The autopsy report had also been forged, so nobody but the defense ever found out. Von Karma, you would go that far. Uh, let's present him the evidence of the sons. Ah, uh, <laughs> this, eh? Okay, that was not a good, uh that piece of evidence to pick, I suppose. This evidence holds the so-called key to the case, right? Uh, it's possible. Yep, then hold on to it closely. Hurry, hurry, put it away. He doesn't think much about this. Yikes. <laughs> hurry now, put it away. <laughs> well, that was not very uh, fruitful. Can I go in any other room at all? There's a vase of tulips in front of this door. Probably because this is the spring palace. You know, speaking of spring, it's the moving season. People who have just moved always let their guard down. So it's always, it's, so it's also thieving season. Okay, actually I thought summer was moving season. As a great thief, don't you think burglary is a little beneath you? Oh, you're right. So, can I look at the sunflowers? There's a vase of sunflowers in front of this door. Probably because this is the summer palace. You know, speaking of summer, it's bonus season. Fat wallets stuffed with cash, which means it's also thieving season. As a great thief, don't you think pickpocketing is a little beneath you? Ugh, I guess so. <laughs> so wait, what is the thing for the... So this is the autumn palace. They can't, they won't let me in. Can I go to the Winter Palace? No, wait, that's the Autumn Palace. Wait, but they were switched. Aha, a clue. But that door leads to the Autumn Palace. Fir trees are winter trees, so this must have been placed here as a red herring. Well then, why don't we paint it in Autumn Red? Okay, fir trees are green all year round. I knew that. <laughs> Can I examine this? A maple tree. But that door leads to the Winter Palace. Maple trees are autumn trees, so this must have been placed here as a red herring. Well then, how about we freeze it to make it look like a maple tree in the winter? Please don't complicate matters any further. <laughs> Alrighty. Did I already look at these trophies? I sure did. It's letting me skip the dialogue, so I had to have. Um, uh, did I actually examine the fountain? I think I talked to the, yeah, I talked to the uh, forensics man. Sugar in the fountain water. Miss Hall, where have you been until now? I was showing the remaining guests out and handling, oh god. <clears throat> My French accent just totally slipped out and not, not in a good way. It's like slipped out of my head. I was showing the remaining guests out and handing out complimentary gifts as an apology. Did you require my services? Yes, there are a few things I want to ask you about. If my suspicions are correct, she's the one who set up the poison gas trap. Ooh. How exactly did you prepare the melted sculptures from 18 years ago? My, so you know about what happened 18 years ago. It's because 18 years ago, I photographed Monsieur Dover's sculptures. Using the photos as a base, I managed to create replicas. Replicas? The zodiac sculptures had been an unfinished work, so I wanted to complete it somehow. Because I am the one who accidentally melted Monsieur Dover's sculptures. And could you tell me why the Autumn Palace resembles the Winter Palace so much? Well, my apologies. Did they really look so alike? I think I may have gotten some of the decorations messed up. 
She is obviously lying. But I haven't gathered any evidence to prove that yet. Damn it. I haven't? Really? I'm like always like one piece of evidence behind. Wait, am I supposed to like go look at the hold on. Am I supposed to look at the fur tree now that I've talked to her? To activate it or something? <laughs> Can I- wait, hold on. Let's see what DeBest says now. Mr. DeBest here. Can, oh, I already got this. Damn it! <laughs> can I talk to Justine, specifically? I feel that you- <clears throat> Overruled! <laughs> I feel that your conduct thus far has clearly been out of line. Oh. Well, I- I needed the practice anyway. It's fine. Okay, so I had all that dialogue. I talked to her. I talked to him. It's- what am I missing? Can I logic something? Ooh, the pots were switched. The pots were switched. The different aroma. Logic? A boom, baby! Maybe the reason why the Ceylon tea smelled different was because the pots had been switched. Uh, really? The taste of the tea itself did not actually change- or did- did not actually change after all. Let's go ask Miss Hall about it in more detail. Miss Hall, was the reason why the Ceylon tea smelled different because the pots were switched? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that is certainly possible. It had a fresh, minty aroma, not unlike that of uva tea. Ah, I remember now. I prepared some mint tea yesterday. I'm sure that the Romo just happened to remain in the teapot. She totally murdered this man! Is that really all there is to it? Hell nah. Hell nah! Connect. We about to solve a mystery! A logic. Boom! A minty aroma was emanating from the pot Larry had replaced. Miss Hall said that the aroma was left over from the mint tea she prepared yesterday. Indeed. She seemed less su less surprised to find out that Larry broke the teapot, and more surprised by the fact that the pots had been switched. That's right. Normally it would have been the reverse. A broken teapot is much more shocking. She was probably trying to hide this teapot. Hide the pot? <laughs> Usually you hide the pot. <laughs> One of the characteristics of Normalium is a minty aroma. There is a possibility that she was hiding Normalium inside this teapot. What? Inside the pot? It is only a possibility for now, but it's one worth investigating. Indeed. Mr. DeBest, I assume you haven't found the Normalium yet? Huh? Oh. Entire art museum searched, but I haven't received any reports yet. <laughs> M candy on Foxy meow friend yep you whoa oh goodness <laughs> is that like an uwu voice coffin? <laughs> I don't know what about you. Don't you have any ideas? Only one. I knew it. Nobody but me would be able to find. Wait, what? You have an idea where it. You have an idea where it is. Indeed. Then tell me. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It may have been in this teapot that Miss Hall had used. Oh, this teapot is pretty nice. It would make the perfect present for the best prosecutor. It's not a present. It's an important piece of evidence. Oh, it's just evidence. Then I guess I'll have forensics take a look at it. Look at him in his fucking cape. I can't even. Monsieur Etoise. Oh, shit. I clicked out. I was <laughs> serious. Is there something wrong with the teapot I used? This teapot has a minty aroma to it. It's the same aroma as one of the two chemicals used to create the poison gas. 
Monsieur Edwards, surely you do not mean. No cat, Foxy. <laughs> you suspect me of having set off the poison gas? I do. Ooh, that's cold. Setting up the poison gas trap in the Autumn Palace would have required some preparation. As the curator of this museum, you're the only one who could have repaired it in advance. I couldn't have about that. Preparations for the opening of the museum took about a week. And I will see that from both outsiders and Madame Delicia. I think, there are, <clears throat> I think there are people besides me who are also suspicious. Wow, she's really trying to pass the buck here. Of course, Delicia is also under scrutiny. Furthermore, I don't even know how to create something like poison gas. Even if you found normalium in my teapot. There is no way I could have prepared the poison gas. Well then, I look forward to hearing the analysis results of the teapot. Her excuse is that she doesn't know how to prepare the poison gas. Why do I want someone to do a... Oh my god! <laughs> and the last around! Nothing's gonna ever keep it down! <laughs> probably not my Sebastian de Best voice. You probably want it in like a different Sebastian de Best voice. <laughs> Full cover. Full <laughs> Check out my, my fire mixtape with featuring Sebastian de Best on a cover. <laughs> wow. Amazing. I must find a way to shatter that excuse. Hello? This is Edgeworth. It's Gumshoe, sir! Did something happen? Actually, right now all of the investigators but me have left the Winter Palace. So I can finally tell you what we found. It's not good for a detective to be leaking out information about the investigation, but... His resourcefulness has saved me many times these past few days. All of the sculptures in the Winter Palace have melted. There's still some liquid left in the cases, but... There's less in the Gemini case than in the Taurus case. There's still liquid in the glass cases? Yes, sir! We just investigated the light blue liquid a moment ago. We only detected sugar in the Taurus case, but... For some reason, in the Gemini case, we detected three different substances. Three substances. They consisted of sugar, salt, and blood! A recipe for the grossest cookie ever! Blood? Blood and salt were detected in the Gemini case. I wonder whose blood it could have been! I've asked forensics to look into it, sir! Right, I leave it to you, detective. That reminds me! The forensics investigating the fountain patty- oh gosh. The forensics investigating the pa- oh my god. The fountain patio contra contacted me. Ah! <laughs> it seems the sugar found in the fountain matches the- oh, Jesus. <laughs> matches- God! Brain. Brain needs to catch up. Brain. Come on. I know you're in there. Get with it. It seems the sugar found in the fountain matches that found in the light blue liquid. Oh? That sounds like valuable information. Liquid analysis results. Is that all? Is that all the new information you have for me? Ah, uh, now that you mention it, we found a rainbow light device in there too. The device was used to disguise the Autumn Palace. It seems the device that was used in the I-7 incident is also connected to this one. I should listen to what Delicia has to say about that. I have to go back to the invest back to investigating now, sir. When we get the results of the blood test, I'll let you know right away. Yes. Thank you, detective. I love Gumshoe. Was that Gummy calling? That sure was a long call. Hm. But thanks to him, we now have an important piece of information. In order to break Miss Hall's alibi, I'll need to talk to everyone involved in the I-7 incident. Ooh, here we go! Let's talk to Delicia right now! Delicia, would you be willing to aid in the investigation? Yesy, of course! I don't know what voice I just did there. We're gonna get there. Give me a minute. 
anything for Miley and Cafe. I'll listen to whatever you have to say. I was wondering if you could stop calling me Miley. And stop calling me Cafe. Boy, that's out of the question. I can't just change a name I've already decided on. Ugh. Can you not speak? <laughs> Me? Or her? <laughs> Uh, whose voice is this? Kay. Uh, even if we ask her, she won't listen to what we have to say at all. <laughs> the decorations. Do you know anything about the decorations that are used in the museum? Specifically, the fluorescent cloths and a special device called a rainbow light device. Yesy, of course I do. Because they are presents that I gave to Katie. As an apology for breaking the rules 18 years ago. I gave her four new rock salt lamps and the four fluorescent cloths I used in the contest. Wow, that sounds nice. Fluorescent cloths and rock salt lamps. Perfect for bashing people's brains in, because that's exactly what happened last time. <laughs> Seems like only us girls can understand how wonderful they are. That's a cruel thing to say, Miss Delicious. I liked them too, you know. Boy, that was back when Ray Ray was still a cute little boy. You sweet baby Ray. Back when Mr. Shields was a cute little boy? Hmm, I can't even imagine it. Are they the same decorations you saw 18 years ago? Probably. The rock salt... Wow, I don't know what I... I went a little British there and that's not... They're starting to blur together. <laughs> Probably. The rock salt lamp and the cloth, the cloth and the rainbow light device, they all seem the same. How many flashbacks to Papa Edgeworth? Quite a few at this point. This one's been kind of bouncing back between like the flashback and now. I don't know if, I don't know if we're going to have another one because the, the last flashback to Papa Edgeworth kind of seems like where, where the case had ended. And it was, like, Ray talking about the court case and how it, that, like, how he lost the court case and the whole, which kind of led into the whole, um, elevator incident. So, I don't know. We've had quite a few, though. <clears throat> Four fluorescent cloths were used in the Autumn Palace. But I have a feeling I saw one more of the same cloth. What is she searching for? Not this. Not this either. Hmm. I remember seeing cloth like that recently. Let's show Delicia and have her confirm my suspicions. Okay. Wasn't there a dirty rag in your bag that looks similar to this? Boy, I'm not going to give you any information. Give any information to someone who calls it a dirty rag. Then, would it be better if I called it a washcloth? Fine! Wrong again! It's a fluorescent cloth! Ah, uh, oopsie. That was supposed to be a secret. Please tell me all you know about this fluorescent cloth. I'd like to ask you something since you're a pharmacist. Exactly how would one gain the knowledge required to set off poison gas? Oh, that's basic knowledge for any pharmacist acquainted with Megatoxin X. It even says on the warning label, Danger! Do not mix with Norbalium. Then, is there another way for someone who isn't a pharmacist to obtain that information? Hmm. Well, it might be possible if they've seen the angel's recipe. The recipe book that was the grand prize of the contest 18 years ago. <clears throat> Since it also contains the recipe to prepare Megatoxin X. Ooh, good to know. Does this mean that you've also seen the contents of the angel's recipe? Yes, see, that's a given, of course. The pharmaceutical company I work for is the master group. It's the company that makes the Cold Killer X medicine. Cold Killer X, the cold medicine that promises to kill colds good. 
after Jeffy got declared guilty, the company took back the recipe book. However, only a small group of elite pharmacists have been allowed to see it, though. The stupid fruit flies flying around annoying me. So this woman is also a part of the small... Oh my gosh, where is it? I'm gonna... Ninja. Uh, is also part of that small group of elite pharmacists. Please, tell me the reason why you hid this cloth. Oh, I guess I have no choice since the cat's out of the bag. I found this cloth floating in the fountain. And right after that, I was called to the Odom Palace. So that's the moment Larry captured this so-called sketch of beauties. At first, I thought one of the fluorescent cloths I'd given Katie had washed away. But didn't you only give four fluorescent cloths as a present to the museum? There were four fluorescent cloths covering the sculptures in the Autumn Palace, right? So that's when I realised that this was the cloth that went missing 18 years ago. Oh, damn. The poison gas broke out because someone had stolen my Megatoxin X. So I thought this fluorescent cloth had also been used for the crime. I was afraid I'd be suspected. So I didn't say anything about it to anyone. I see. But I sure feel a lot better after talking about it to... About talking... Damn it. I would like try to anticipate what they say sometimes and I absolutely guess wrong. And that was one of those. I, was, I thought she was going to say like edgy or something. Which edgy isn't even her nickname for him. Edgy is... Edgy Poo is like Wendy Oldback's <laughs> nickname for him. So... That was wrong. That was just wrong. <laughs> um, stress ain't good for your figure. Uh, can we stop with the body talk? Can we please stop with the body talk? Like, it's, it's not necessary. It's just not. <laughs> 18 years ago, the cloth that was wrapped around the body went missing. Who would have thought it would turn up in the fountain along with the body 18 years later? That's the weird part for me. It's the 18 years later. All right, well... That pretty much covers that. Who else? Uh, you, Madam Suspicious. Uh, let's try this. Is that a special fluorescent cloth I received from Madame Delicia? Could you tell me how many cloths she gave you? There were four. The Autumn Palace also had four fluorescent cloths, but I feel like I saw one more. Yes, we just established that you saw about the... It seems like she's hiding something. Can I... Nope, I can't really... Hmm, okay. Well. Uh, can I talk to... Can I talk to Ray? Does he have anything to offer? Like, anything actually to offer? Catherine Hall? Ooh! Mr. Shields, could you tell me what kind of person Miss Hall is? Hmm? Miles, don't tell me. You're also interested in Katie? No. <laughs> no, I'm gay. Well, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Well, all joking. Oh, sorry. Um, Madame Sus. <laughs> Madame Sus. <laughs> Madame, how you say? Sus. <laughs> all Uncle Ray can say is the Kate I know is a truly admirable woman. For 18 years, she has always wanted to remain here and wait for Master's return. However, she was driven out of the mansion by Master's relatives. What? She was driven out of the mansion? <clears throat> That's because Kate isn't related by blood to Mr. Master. With no family and a job taken from her, she could only live on on with my, oh my gosh, she could only live on with the song and dance that Mr. Master had taught her. Well, she's now retired as a world famous actress though. Why did she retire? Because she had already saved up enough money to buy this mansion. It seems she even got back the angel's recipe that had been taken by the master group. Ooh, interesting, interesting. This mansion where she lived with Mr. Master had been everything to her. She probably just wanted to take back everything that she lost. It seems that Mr. Shield sympathizes with Miss Hall. 
But you could also say that her actions have taken away everything Mr. Master had. Hmm, it's time to logic. Let's do some logic. Come on. Ooh, baby, let's do it. The method used to set off the poison gas is explained in the angel's recipe. And the current owner of the angel's recipe is Miss Hall. Madam Sus! Ah, so that means... Indeed. It means that it is possible she knew how to set off the poison gas. Oh my gosh, please. By all means. I love trilogy memes. I love, love all the Ace Attorney memes. Absolutely welcomed. I think... Are you going to put links? Because I might have to change the... Um, I might have to change, like, the... What do you call it? Moderation settings? Because I feel like I might auto... I've got... I get bots sometimes, but... but I don't know. I guess I've been able to kind of show up. Just give it a try. If not, I do have a Discord, and memes are awesome, so... Um, indeed, it means that it is possible she knew how to set off the poison gas. With this, we can expose her lies with, for what they are. Oh, Catherine! Okay. Did I get it? I clapped right on the mic, and I'm so sorry, but I think I got it. It's not on my hands, though. I'm kind of hoping I just, like, winded him somewhere. Oh, I did. He's on my desk. Ew, that's gross. Anyway, <laughs> moving right along. Oh, gosh. Phoenix. Lotta, will you do anything for a scoop? Yeehaw, you betcha. You. So what you want me to do? Will you testify for three cases? You know, I don't testify more than twice. Plus, I heard testifying in three different cases will curse you for ten years. <laughs> that absolutely sounds exactly like what Lotta would say. I love Lotta Hart. I know sometimes she can be pretty, she can be um, kind of just divisive, but I like Lotta. I got a lot of love for Lotta Hart. <laughs> Ugh, also I know that this- I know Katie is evil, but I- I want to cosplay her so bad. Just look at her! Her design is- uh, is so good! It's so good. Um... What kind of methods for medicine preparation are described in the angel's recipe? It contains many ways of preparation, so I can't explain all of them, them all in such a short time. Although, if you really want to know, I can tell you. It will take about two hours, though. I can tell you every one of them while matching the melody. Let's start by explanation. What should we do? Listen to all of it? No, that won't be necessary. Okay, uh, hmm. That didn't work. Damn. Uh, can I talk to this forensic guy? <clears throat> We've recovered the victim's body. Forensics are currently performing the autopsy. <clears throat> and what of the investigation of the fountain? The fountain is completely clear. You can cleanse both your heart and soul with it. A body was floating in this fountain just a moment ago, though. All right, Sebastian. Mr. DeVest, you're getting a bit in my way if you stand here. Oh God, seriously? He moved over here and it's still in the way. I feel like I might have to present some evidence to uh, Delicia to move forward. I, I have def I've played Apollo Justice, yes. Is there an anime for Apollo Justice? I thought it was just the, uh, the trilogy. But if there's an anime for Apollo Justice, you bet your ass I'm watching that. I love Apollo. I kind of have a crush on Apollo. It's fine. You've also read the Angel's Recipe, right? Of course! Oh, I may look like this, but I'm an ace pharmacist! That's amazing! An ace pharmacist. That's been my long-felt dream. Wait, what? Really? That's right, that's right! At least Cafe understands! Understand that was not correct. Uh, but this is her. This is the first I've heard about her being interested in pharmacology, though. Shh, 
A little flattery can go a long way when you're stealing or trying to get information. Well then, Miss Delicious, there's something I would like to ask of you. Fine, no can do. I can't just change names I've already decided on. For a great thief of all people to have their thoughts stolen like this. Shelly, are you trying to go against me knowing I have something special to you? No, uh, it's my job to uh, point out contradictions. Okay, so what if I have an itchy pointer finger? <laughs> Wasn't Shelly the killer somewhere in this game? I feel like it's been a minute since we've revisited that. He was in the he was in the first case. I feel like we're missing. I feel like he's got to come back around, right? All right, it's definitely present evidence time. Um, it's true. I know how to make the poison gas, but even if you know how to fire a gun, it doesn't mean you actually shot one, right? I haven't actually decided that you're the criminal yet, though. I may be a great thief, but that doesn't mean I, co I would commit evil deeds. And I may be a pastry chef, but that doesn't mean I can make desserts. That's because you're a fake pastry chef. Still trying to keep the uh, illusion alive 18 years later, I might add. How weird is that? Um... Uh, I don't know what to do now. Can I talk to Larry? I don't think he's gonna have anything to offer though. Uh, I guess I'll present his sketch of you now. Well, what? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. Okay, I'm gonna look at my... No, not that one. Where is it? Where is it? This one. This, right here. What is what is going on? I feel like we should present this to him. Present... This. Boom. Uh, they're just so beautiful. Katie and Jesse. So, which one's your type, Larisse? Well, both of them are my type. Ah, uh, and of course you too, Kay. So, anyone's your type as long as they're female. It's not like that at all! Even I have standards! Like that pink lady I drew in my sketch, she's way too old for me! I'm pretty sh- hold on, I'm- hold on, I'm <laughs> pretty- wait a damn minute. We do not know her age. Catherine's 34. How old is Justine? 26? Yeah. Justine is my age, basically. And Kay is 17, so that's just weird, Larry. How old are you? You're 26. Okay. Basically, by your standards, Catherine would be too old for you because she's almost a decade your senior. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> This man, he could tell Delicia's age with just a single look? No, he couldn't. He's full of shit. Also, he's not helping me, so I'm moving on. <laughs> um, um, I'm, okay. Uh, wait, I'm gonna talk to this guy real quick, and then I'm gonna go back to presenting evidence. Uh, it's over, okay, yeah, it's overused dialogue. Catherine, pass up. I'm gonna show Larry's sketch to her. My, is this me? Yes, it's a sketch done by our pseudo artist over there. The sketch is really well done. Are you giving it to me as a commemoration gift? N no, for the time being, this is a value piece, valuable piece of evidence. I see, too bad. To garner such a response from the museum curator, that man has some unexpected talent. Well, that didn't help either. How about this? Family photo? I don't know. A whole lot! 
How about the case? <laughs> Ding! Oh my gosh. Wow, they har I guess they harmonized. Why is Kay singing along with her? Uh, that was adorable. But... This? Nope. Nope, that didn't help. Uh, I guess I'll... This? Nope. Not helping. <laughs> uh... Nope. Um... We already went there. Um... Nope. Damn it! I got nothing! This one? Nope! Shit! I'm just doing the ace attorney strategy of presenting all of the pieces of evidence. Oh, what is a great actress like you doing as a curator of an art gallery? Deep down, I don't think there is much of a difference. Films, musicals, suites, singing, sculptures, it's all the same. At the end of the day, all artists are striving for the same goal. To move the human heart. Is Loris striving for that too? Of course not. He's not an artist. He's Larry. <laughs> Actually, it's Loris. Uh, maybe this. Nope. We got a little bit of something, but not much. I'll show her my prosecutor's badge. For Monsieur Edouard to have become a prosecutor. I'm sure there must have been some awful circumstances to it. Yes, there actually there actually were quite horrible circumstances. Yes, a lot has happened, although I cannot talk about the details right now. Ah, Monsieur Edouard, you really take after your father. Even if your profession is different, I'm sure you are as excellent as he was. He, he is. That's what I aspire to be, but... My father would always face his work with unwavering conviction. Even now, I'm still lost regarding the question of what my path should be. Ugh. Same. <laughs> Hard same. What about this rock salt lamp? Apollo, do you study at IVU? <laughs> yes. Did you witness the murder? Yes. Do you like to- <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Got him! <laughs> oh my god, the panties! The freaking mysterious- Trucy's mysterious panties! That was a weird plotline! <laughs> Apparently, this lift trolley was here 18 years ago. Yes, it has allowed me to, do, to move various things from other rooms into this one. It was an, intended to carry heavy objects, but it has been quite useful for all sorts of things. I'm curious as to why the top of the lift trolley was wet when we examined it. That lift trolley... I wonder if it was used to move something that made it wet. Can I logic anything at all? Nope. Okay, so I presented basically every piece of evidence to her. <clears throat> Okay, so now I can't logic anything. Uh, I can't. Nope, no clues there. I guess I'll try to. I guess I'll try presenting the evidence to. This sketch. Is this the one? Cold. Oh God. Is this the one called the Sketch of Beauties? That's what the one who drew it called it, although it seems you were excluded from it. Was that boy perhaps Lorise? I'd love to chat with him one on one later. Hmm. It would be my pleasure to introduce you. Mr. Edgeworth, you're making an awfully evil face right now. Another fruit fly. I will find you, and I will destroy you. Oh, I scared Midna. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, baby. Do you want to sit there? Oh, I'm sure I could move some stuff out of the way 
ready for you, baby girl. Okay, I'll leave that there. So silly. She's like on my shelf. <laughs> she knocked my uh, little button USB thing off. Um... Oi, that thing you've got there is rather cute, Miley. But the colour is rather unappealing. Now, if I were to coat it with fresh cream... Stop it. <laughs> I guess that was wrong. Yep, same here. We're just gonna keep going through. Keep going through. Uh, this. We already did this. We already did that. Uh... Nope, that doesn't work either. Um... We already went through this. We've already did this. This is getting tough. I'm running out of things to do. Oh, hello, Midna. Just crawling back in my lap. Uh, this? I'm surprised that you can make a lamp out of rock salt. Yesy, it's weak against water, but it's strong against fire. It's pretty sturdy, you know. Oh, that's important. So sturdy that it can be used as a murder weapon. Yes, that's right, isn't it? The reason the rock salt lamp was broken was because it was used as the murder weapon. But then I wonder why the other rock salt lamp was also broken. need to check some let's see here all right um a blue cloth i guess this is kind of relaxing col this kind of relaxing color is nice once in a while after all when you're sneaking around it's better not to have a color that stands out but when you want to make a cool entrance flashy colors are better it's a hard choice. Couldn't you fulfill both of those conditions with this cloth? You're right. This cloth is awesome. According to Mr. Shields, this allows you to change the color of the cloth. Let me try it out. Pretty. Hmm, the cloth has started to glow. This is the missing cloth from the case 18 years ago. We found it at the fountain just now. It was it was giving out a light blue aura when it was wrapped around the Pisces statue. <clears throat> it seems this cloth is connected to this case as well as the case 18 years ago. <laughs> I guess that's really all there is to it. Cool. Um... Check that. Can I check that? Maybe this one? Oh, oops. Sorry. <clears throat> Look! There's a mark engraved on the bottom. It says PH. That's because this teapot was created by the sculptor, Pierre Hoquet. As the creator, he would engrave his initials onto his works. Ah, but wasn't his real name Isaac Dover? Yes, apparently the victim of the I-7 incident created this piece. Though I'm left to wonder, are all of these works in the Zodiac Gallery his creations? Wow, this teapot sure looks fashionable! Fashionable? I'd say it borders along the lines of eccentric. It's very avant-garde. <laughs> if you don't appreciate the design, you're not qualified to be a great thief. I wouldn't mind being unqualified. Ah, Edward, that's not the spirit. Come on, man. Wow. 
Well, I guess that's really all that there is to that. Um, hmm. Ah, we can examine the trolley. It's time to get up close and personal. This lift is wet. Maybe it was carrying something that was wet? Did someone move something with this? Maybe the wheels underneath. No? That's that's it? That's it. Really? That's all you're gonna give me? That is all you're gonna give me. Are you for serious? Bruh! Help me! Oh. Aha! If you step here, you can adjust the height of the platform. Indeed. Let's try changing the height. Okay, would you do the honors? Roger! Alba, you did it. No, you. <laughs> Old bag pulls an Uno reverse card. Oh my gosh. There is this girl who does TikToks about the Uno reverse card. And she... <laughs> just, I, I don't... I can't remember what her username is. But it's just like... It's like situations where it's just like, Oh, okay, well, would you guys like your check? Uh, like at a restaurant or whatever. And she's like... Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just get my card. And it's like, Ella, no, don't do it. We're at a restaurant. And she's like, Uno reverse. It's so good. It's so good. It's on TikTok. If you can find her, she's got like red hair. She's like very British. She's, oh my God. I like, I cry laughing every single time I see her. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, wow. The platform raised up. By using this, a single person could move certain heavy objects. I bet this could easily carry Gummy. Why would you carry the detective? Uh, okay. Can I zoom in on it even further? The wheels, perhaps? No? I wonder if I'm missing something on the other ones. Can I deduce anything? I feel like I haven't been able to deduce anything. Hmm. All right. Well. Can I show her the cart? Didn't I already show her the cart? Yeah. Hmm. I guess I'll show everything to freaking Ray. Let's start with, we'll start from the back. How about, how about this? Nope, he wants me to put it away. Cool, great. How about the sketch of the beauties? Nope, cool, great. How about the trolley? Nope, okay, great. Woo. Uh, how about the teapot? Nope. Okay, great. Woo. How about family photo? <laughs> this is not going well. I'm kind of stuck. What the fuck? How about the salt lamp? Oh. Oh. Ah, this, sh this sh one show takes me back. If you've noticed anything strange about it, I'd like you to tell me. I've been thinking about this case for the past 18 years. I don't think I'm going to conveniently notice something strange all of a sudden. But you might be able to, Miles. You're talking all cool, but you pretty much have nothing to say, right? <laughs> Did you notice? It seems a lot has come to nothing. Damn it. What about this? Uh. Okay, so. Kind of, but nah. It's called the Angel's Recipe because it contains the recipes for many miraculous medicines. Is there any medicine in particular that you're interested in? Uncle Ray? Nah, really. How about Kay? I'd love a medicine that made me a genius or turn invisible or gave me the ability to fly. Aren't you expecting a little too much from a medicine? Uh, nope. Not on this one. What about this? Nope. Not that either. What about this? We never did manage to find the fluorescent cloth that went missing 18 years ago. 
Isn't it weird for something that stands out like that to just disappear? So the question becomes, was it overlooked? Or was it hidden, right? By someone. Well, I'm getting like different answers, but I'm not like unlocking any logic points or the I-7 incident. It sure was a fateful case. At least it was for Uncle Ray. For me as well. I've been thinking a lot about the I-7 incident. Don't you think that it'd be better to abbreviate it as the asses? The isis? As asses? Isis inc- <laughs> Oh, then what about the sweet incident? Or perhaps the cold case? Oh, cold case is good. Which one should we decide on? It's quite the dilemma, eh? Sometimes I don't know how seriously he takes things. Uh, what about this? Nope. What about this? Uh, nope, that didn't help either. What about my prosecutor's badge? I never would have imagined that you'd end up becoming a prosecutor. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm not blaming you. You have your own reasons behind it as well, right? But standing in the courtroom as a prosecutor isn't the same as doing it as a defense attorney. It's something I would like you to experience just once as a defense attorney. There was actually a time when I stood in the courtroom as a defense attorney. And it is like one of my most favorite parts of the trilogy. Oh my god, like I, I lost my mind. I lost my mind when he was, I saw him and on his little lapel, I saw that little gold circle. I was like, I'm gonna cry. Anyway. Ah, Ace Attorney is so good. It definitely didn't feel bad at all. Cool. Again, I have unlocked precisely zero Zero new information about this. So what do I do now? Okay, help me out. Okay. Notice anything? Anything at all. If Normalium is found in the teapot, will Miss Hall be arrested? I don't think someone who seems so gentle could ever be the true murderer. It isn't good to judge people by their outward appearance, Kay. Although, it's true that it would be an upsetting conclusion. I should try asking Mr. Shields and Delicia for their opinions as well. I did. What about this? We've sure found a lot for, about, oh my gosh, we sure found out a lot about both this case and the I-7 incident as well. I wonder about that. The truth still, still seems to be wrapped in a deep, thick mist. Don't we have what we need to clear up that mist? Because if we don't, I can take Little Thief out for another spin. No, it's fine. We've already gathered all the information we need. I just use logic and match up all the pieces, the mist should clear and we will see the truth. I understand. Well then, do your thing. But I did, and now I don't have any logic points. So now what? I've presented all of the evidence. I've talked to everybody. What do I do? Uh... Uh Fuck man, I don't actually know what to do. Can you present profiles? Actually, I don't know if wait, hold on, let me try. Uh da -da -da. Present. I can't. I can only present evidence. They're not super consistent with where you can present profiles across the games. I think there was- there's- they're like- you can in like... Some later games, but... No, I cannot present any profiles. Um... Shit, dude. Anything- any new information about the fountain. Did I not present every single piece of evidence to her? It's gotta be her! Like, it has to be! Your teapot. Ugh. I can't 
noticed anything about this because it's not even 3D, so it's like... I'm actually at a loss! Oh my god! Oh my god! I was supposed to deduce! I was supposed to deduce. Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? It's probably, uh, shit. I guess the teapot? No. No, that's not it. No, wait. Oh, wait, hold on. Miss Hall was using this white service cart. However, why do I feel like something is amiss? I should look over my evidence again. Okay. Is it... Because uh, I, th I was thinking because they switched... Liquid analysis, sketch, lift. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Is this another lift? Okay, I'm just gonna deduce and I'm gonna do the poison. Ugh! Jesus Christ! All right. Um. I love ice turning. The cloth is blue in this picture. Oh, damn! I'm glad I looked over. Okay, yes, it's the white cloth. It's different because in the sketch. Boom, baby! Larry, there's something I want to ask you about your sketch. Huh? You want a lecture on sketching from the famed Professor Larisse, do ya? <laughs> Blutiful! I like it! <laughs> no, I just need to ask you something. The tablecloth in your sketch, are you sure it was light blue? Yeah, my eyes never fail me! But the one on the service cart here is white, isn't it? Dude. You're always so think busy thinking with just your head that you miss the obvious. What's with that look on your face? When I drew that painting, I was using the cart with the tea set on it, remember? Because I was tidying up the broken pottery shards. That's not something to be proud of. And right then, Katie came out of a winter palace. I had to hurry and hide the broken teapot so that she wouldn't notice it. Oh, she looking sus as hell. Did you just say Miss Hall came out of the Winter Palace? That's right, but this time she was pushing another service cart. And the tablecloth was light blue, just like how I drew it. What did she do with the service cart? Beats me. She went into the summer palace with it, so I don't know. And when she came out, she was pushing the lift trolley. 
the lift trolley. When I called out to her, she was so surprised that she just left it here. She's so cute when she's shy. A second service cart and a lift trolley. Maybe there were two tea sets along with two service carts. We'll have to verify it with Miss Hall. See, now we're see now we're cooking with gas. Now we're cooking with poison gas. <laughs> I got you now, bitch. Is it true that you keep two service carts on the premises? Y yes, it's all something long. Earlier, I was looking at one of the sketches from that so-called artist and and I noticed that he had drawn the cart's tablecloth light blue. Light blue, are you sure you want to mistake it, monsieur? I only use tablecloths that are pure white. That's true, the tablecloth here doesn't have a single spot on it. Yes, that is because I always change them immediately whenever they get dirty. Did Larry really get the color wrong then? N Larry's drawings literally never are wrong. And it's like weird, like very, very, very weird. It's really weird that he can like so perfectly capture and describe information. What were you doing when the sketch was drawn? At the time, I was just doing my job as useful. Then could you tell me exactly what work that work entails? What were you doing when you were drawn in this sketch? From the looks of the drawing, it doesn't seem like you were transporting the tea set. This was when I was delivering chocolates to other people in the investigation. Ah, oh, how nice. Chocolates. I wish I could have got some too. There are still a few left, so please, it's easy. I made them myself, though it's possible they might not suit your taste. Woohoo! <laughs> thank you so much! Hmm, thank you. Perhaps it's because she had them in her pocket, but it looks like they've melted a bit. Chocolates. Mmm, the sweet goodness! <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. I love murder chocolate! Oh gosh, sorry, my leg was hurting. These chocolates are a little misshapen, but I'm glad to get some sugar into my system. Although, they're a little too sweet for my taste. We're moving right along. I did it! I completed the investigation. It only took me the whole fucking time. Now all that's left is to wait for the results of the teapot. To be continued right now. I'm gonna just save it right here and right, right, yeah. Do 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 do. April second, blood chocolate. <laughs> I have a report. We have detected traces of normalium from the teapot. Y you coming, Sarah? It's just like Mr. Edwards said. Darn it! Ugh. Does Mr. Edwards take the title of the best from me again? Mr. DeBest, it seems like you have an obsession with being the best. But when you're on a case, winning and losing is of no importance. What are you saying? Obviously, it's best to be the best at everything. Present the chocolates to Ray. Oh, absolutely. I'm totally gonna present the chocolates to Ray. He's gonna he's gonna simp a little bit for Katie Pie, huh? If you can't understand that, then you have no business being a prosecutor. What? I I am the best. Oh boy. Please stop harassing Sebastian. Sebastian, a person of your caliber has no need to listen to such things. Justine! Yeah, you're right. Please leave this to me. Why don't you go check on the victim's condition? Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll be ba right back then. All right, I'll be waiting. Oh, I went a little too, uh, a little too Delicia there. Judge Courtney is much more troublesome than Mr. DeBest. 
Well then. Miss Curator, can you tell me what <clears throat> can you tell us why Normalium was discovered in the teapot? I was not aware that it contained such a chemical. I suppose it may have been an ingredient from the detergent I had used. So you're saying that you did not put it in deliberately? No, of course not. Uh, there is no way for me to have known how to create the poison gas. Oh, she's nervous. She looking nervous. Despite being a former actress, it seems you're not very good at lying. <gasps> oh! Plot twist, Justine is the murderer. She did it for justice. But wouldn't it be an injustice? Maybe that's the... That's that's the pun! Because her name is Justine, which is in... Which is like just... It, in, in just. In just. It's backwards. It, see, it, it sounded a lot better in my head and then I said it out loud and now I feel stupid. But I was kind of on a halfway cool plot twist there. Anyway. Yeah, plot twist. She did it for, for justice. What do you mean? Oh, you just blew my mind. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're too kind, you're too kind. <laughs> the angel's recipe is in your possession. And the method to create the poison gas is contained inside that recipe book. <clears throat> so you must have known how to create it. I'm surprised you knew about that. Miss Curator, is this true? It's true that the information about the poison gas is contained in one of the recipes. However, just because I saw it does not mean that I was responsible for the crime. Could you tell me what set off the poison gas? It was caused by the victim heating the lid of the gas with a... <clears throat> Overruled. It was caused by the victim heating the lid of the gla glass case with a burner. Haha, <laughs> I see. Courtney, you can admit it. Sebastian's kind of dumb. She'll never admit it. Uh, I see. If he locked himself in the room of, on his own will and then set off the poison gas, wouldn't that suggest... Wow, I'm so glad I put that trigger warning. I really had an... I really... I really was like, this. they're not going to bring that up. But maybe they might. And they did. They totally did. I, I'm glad I put a warning. Yeah. Suicide. <laughs> Does she intend to deny it until the bitter end? Move aside, Peel. I need to like, I need to make a command where y'all can like literally bring that gif up every single time we have an Ace Attorney witness that like starts sweating. Wait, I'm gonna write that down. Why can I never have a pen? I literally, damn it, putting a note, typing up a note right now. Gif, Jordan Peel, Twitch, command okay cool anyway furthermore i wouldn't have been able to obtain a chemical like megatoxin x that may be true but you could have stolen it from someone else that reminds me i met up with katie a week ago and <gasps> that night was when i realized that my megatoxin x was gone katie you couldn't have Madame Delicia always carried her medicine bag around with her. Anyone could have stolen it. That's right. I don't have any proof that she was the one who stole it. Kate, can't you tell us what you had? I know you're not the kind of person who would hurt someone without a reason. <gasps> Monsieur Sins, you doubt me as well. Setting a trap on one of the gallery's exhibits and then disguising the rooms? I just think it would have been impossible for anyone but the curator. That's not true. There are no guards or security cameras at this gallery. If any ill-intentioned person wanted to sneak into the gallery, it would have been an easy task for them. Then, isn't it like all an all-you-can-steal buffet in here? You have to be careful. You never know when a great thief could appear. It doesn't sound like a joke when Kay says it. Actually, Monsieur Gustavia apparently enters the gallery before it opens. Well, I'm beat. Looks like Uncle Ray can't do anything to break down Katie's iron guard. Hmm, this might be a good time to use the technique your old man taught me. 
the technique my father taught you? This case is deeply connected to the one from 18 years ago. If we just pursue the present case, it may seem like there is a lot we don't understand. But if we try turning things around, there might be a hit in the case from the past. Thinking the other way around, did my father do that too? For example, just consider the relationship between the past case and Kate. Miss Hall melted Mr. Dover's sherbet sculptures 18 years ago, and today Mr. Dover's works are on display in this gallery. It can't be. She... I see. Now I know what I want to ask her. Or now I know what to ask her. <laughs> That's good to hear. In that case, Uncle Ray will just watch over you as you do your work. Miss Catherine Hall. 18 years ago, it seems that you melted Mr. Dover's sherbet sculptures. Yes, I was young and inexperienced, and I did something inexcusable. However, isn't that why you were able to open the Zodiac Art Gallery? I don't know what you mean. I don't understand either. Prosecutor Edgeworth, do you seek her testimony? Yes, I would like her to tell me about the Zodiac Art Gallery. I would like to know the reason you decided to open a gallery for Mr. Dover's artwork. If you insist that it's related to the case at hand, I'll allow it. Miss Curator, your testimony, if you please. Very well. If said will clear your suspicions about me. Now then, please testify about the Zodiac Art Gallery. Here we go. She murdered him. 18 years after Monsieur Messer was arrested, I was finally able to buy back this mansion. Then, in order to maintain it, I decided to manage it as an art gallery. I collected Pierre Roquet's works from all over the world. After all, it was my dream to open the Zodiac Art Gallery. It's wonderful that your dream has come true. What do you think, Prosecutor Edgeworth? I don't believe there was anything strange about her testimony. Judge Cordy. I believe in the courtroom. It is standard to cross-examine the witness. Wouldn't you agree it's a little too early to say that there are no contradictions? Hmm. You speak like a defense attorney. Very well. Proceed as you please. Oh, we gonna get her. She the murderer. Ha ha. Hold it! Hold it! <clears throat> Must have taken a lot of hard work these past 18 years to buy back the mansion. It's a place full of my memories with the Monsieur Mister. It is the only place for me. Look at her. No matter what, at any cost, I want it get back. She looks like she's having fun. Well, she is a former actress. Singing and dancing is a livelihood. Enough with the singing. Please continue your testimony. Then in order to maintain it, I decided to manage it as an art. Hold it! Are you managing this gallery by yourself? Yes. Well, I say manage, but it, I, it only opened today. And I must continue protecting this mansion. So that Monsieur Master has a place to return to. So she took back the mansion for Mr. Master's sake. Kate, I'm so sorry. I was powerless. It's not your fault, Monsieur Shields. I couldn't do anything either. All I can do now is continue to protect the mansion. Some actors and actresses are ass at singing and dancing. This is true. This is a true fact. Pierre Hoquet. That's Mr. Dover's alias, correct? Yes, it's the name he used when he worked as a sculptor in France. About collecting his works. How did you prepare the Taurus and Gemini sculptures? <clears throat> I heard that Mr. Dover passed away before he completed those... Oh my goodness. Excuse me. Before he completed those two sculptures. I had the sculptures and the Winter Palace specifically made based on the photos I took. Oh, could you tell us about that in more detail? Hold it. 
Opening the Zodiac Art Gallery was your dream? The truth is, I wanted to manage the gallery together with Monsieur Master. Singing and dancing and all kinds of sweets. That's the kind of gallery I dreamed about. Was she planning on staging a musical in here? Jeffrey Master disobeyed the goddess of law. It is unfortunate, but I'm afraid your dream will never come to pass. No! Monsieur Master is innocent! The prosecutor at the time did not believe it, but... In order to protect Catherine Hall, Jeffrey Master gave a false confession. They were both trying to protect each other. I prepared replicas of the sculptures. <laughs> By photos, do you mean the ones taken in Isaac Dover's room? Yes, you seem quite familiar with the events from its musical, Monsieur Edwards. So the sculptures in the Winter Palace were replicas? They melted and I didn't even get to see them once! No, the Sherwood sculptures shouldn't have been replicas. Miss Hall is obviously lying. After all that trouble it took to prepare them, it's a shame they melted. The sculptures in the Winter Palace are the same sherbet sculptures from 18 years ago. Unless I point that out to her, I won't be able to find out the truth. Oh, they're really just giving it to me, huh? Um... Wait, what did that say? Hold on. Identical to the sherbet desserts, the eight, uh, touch... Oh, wait, that just says... Okay. Hmm. Uh... Damn it. Nope. How strange! How suspicious! <laughs> I don't think so. Not one bit. Oh shit. I got caught up in a rhythm. I'd like an encore. Testify for me one more time. <laughs> um. The sculptures of the Winter Palace are the same. The Winter and Autumn Palace were s switched? Objection. Damn it! Okay, fuck. I fucked up! I fucked up! I have to- okay, hold on. I gotta- my brain is not on today. So the Winter Palace is here. Now we we'll switch with the Autumn Palace. Spring, summer, winter, autumn. Winter Palace. Taurus and Gemini. The replicas of Okay. Taurus and Gemini. after I was okay great um okay great okay uh-huh it has to be the part with the shit okay 
I'm just gonna make a safe state, <laughs> right? Uh, here. Um. Crap. I'm cycling through as if cycling through is gonna help my brain figure it out. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm probably getting ahead of myself. Ah, shit! <laughs> I guess it has to be this. Objection. Yeah, okay, that's like the only other thing, but I don't see why that makes sense that she made him look the same. Did you really think that your excuses would continue to hold up? No matter how much you lie, you can't deny the composition of the sculptures. From the analysis results, it's quite clear that the sculptures in the Winter Palace are the Sherbet sculptures Mr. Jover created. I just splashed myself in the eye with my drink. Great. Oi, Wiley, as a pharmacist, it's my turn to shine. <laughs> There's a game called Your Turn to Shine, which is a spin-off of Your Turn to Die, by the way. It's very fun. Um, what we call sugar actually comes in... Let's try that again. What we call sugar actually comes in many different varieties and tastes. Even if the sculptures were replicas, it's nearly impossible to replicate the composition. I see. Thank you for the explanation, though I don't recall asking for one. Oh, she getting nervous. That, Miss Hall, means you couldn't have melted the, the sherbet sculptures back then. You stole them and preserved them for 18 years! What? She preserved the sherbet for 18 yol years? Hmm, if you freeze it properly, it's not impossible. Silence, please. Miss Curator, what do you have to say? I can't believe- Oh gosh, that was not- I can't believe you already uncovered so much! So you're admitting that you stole the Sherbet sculptures? No, I cannot do admit to such a thing! There isn't any proof that I stole them after all! Also, I couldn't have stolen the sculptures 18 years ago. I don't think they would have been easy to steal without the police noticing. Hmm, is that so? <clears throat> I don't know what you did 18 years ago. As such, how can I judge how difficult it would have been to steal them? It looks like you won't give up so easily. I don't intend on giving up until I learn the truth. I understand. Then I shall tell you what I did 18 years ago. Ooh, we learning stuff. What I did 18 years ago. On the day of the incident, I was waiting in the main building until the judging. During the judging at Monsieur Master's request, I went to change the film in the camera. But before I could deliver the camera to him, I discovered Monsieur Dover's body. After Monsieur Grendel arrived, I prepared the tea for everyone involved in the investigation. It was then that I witnessed Monsieur Gustavia entering Monsieur Dover's room. And that was everything I had done on that day. I don't think there is anything suspicious about my actions. That's not your decision to make. Mr. Edgeworth, were there any contradictions in her testimony? For now, I should just prove that she stole the sculptures. But when could Miss Hall have stolen them? If I can answer that, her crime should come to light. Rebuttal. So let's see. What were you doing before the judging began? I was in my room on the second floor, practicing my dancing. Oh, how fabulous. I was performing on the TV show Piece of Cake back then. Piece of Cake? What kind of show is that? 
It was a children's program. The hosts made sweets while singing and dancing. Ooh, that sounds like fun! Well, that's unexpected. You knew about the show, Miles? M my father told me about it once, I so I just happened to watch it a few times. So Miss Hall was practicing dancing in her room. Could Miss Hall have stolen the sculptures then? It couldn't have been then? It couldn't have been then. I should listen to more of her. I want to hear more, her, more of her testimony. So, you were the only one who could move freely during the judging period. Ah, it's gotta be there. I certainly would have more... Hmm. I certainly would have had more free time to move about than the contestants. However... I couldn't possibly have stolen the sculptures right in front of Monsieur Master. Moreover, upon being asked to change the film, I went directly to the entryway. At Mr. Master's request, she went to change the film in the camera. Oh, I guess it could be there. Before I could deliver the camera to him, I discovered most of oh. So you entered Mr. Master's room before you delivered the camera. Yes, I heard the sound of some blanking, you see. Monsieur Master? Are you in here? Eek! That was actually the sound of the ship breaking. Someone snuck a bite of it, you see. When the body was discovered, was Mr. Master still judging Mr. Gustavia's room? I am sure that he was. Monsieur Master is the type of person who would carefully judge one room at a time. She found Mr. Dover's body inside Mr. Master's room. Could Miss Hall have stolen the sculpture then? Yes! Uh, and how would I have done that? <laughs> I was wrong. That was incorrect. <laughs> That's... Hmm. <laughs> Not even a great thief could have taken it then, you know. Ouch. It seems I was mistaken. My apologies. Please continue. Ah. Uh, it was then. The tea. The tea time. Did you do so in the same manner as today? Yeah, that's where it was. Yes, I felt tea for everyone working on the investigation. Now that you mention it, Uncle Ray also got some tea from you that day. Kate was pushing her service car back and forth from the patio to the main building. I see. Did anything seem strange to you then? Hint, hint, hint that she used the cart to s transport the stolen sculptures? Hmm. Well, I remember your old man singing praises of a Ceylon tea. And he also said something about how the saucer was chilled. The saucer was chilled. Ooh, there we go. Could Miss Hall have stolen the sculpture? Yes. This was when you stole the sherbet sculptures. I'm sorry, but Monsieur Shields and company were at the fountain patio the entire time. Are you saying that I stole them in broad daylight? Yes, actually. That's precisely what I'm saying. This is where she hid the sculptures to steal them right under their noses. Boom. <clears throat> Excuse me. Neither my father nor Mr. Shields realized the sculpture was right in front of them. What you were pushing around was no ordinary service cart. It was the sculpture itself! Eek! But surely that would still be impossible. If she placed the sculptures on the service card, people would not notice immediately. I never said she used the service cart to move the sculptures. What? What do you mean? Then what did she use to move the sculptures around? This is what Miss Hall used to transport the sculptures. This thingy! And this is... 
This is the lift trolley Mr. Dover used 18 years ago to move his sherbet sculptures. It seems this same lift trolley lies here in the fountain patio. That's because it was originally prepared for the contest, for the contest in the first place. Are you saying she used the lift trolley to move the sculptures? Yes. If the sculptures were placed on this lift trolley and then covered with a tablecloth, it could be disguised as a service cart and moved without arousing suspicion. How could that be? So the sauces were chilled because they were sitting on the ass sculptures? Oh, she real nervous now. Kate, what is the meaning of this? What were you thinking? That was truly impressive. You certainly are Monsieur Gregory's son. Until 18 years, it's hard to imagine any proofs as I saw the sculptures remain. But I knew it was only a matter of time until I was suspected. Miss Curator, does this mean you admit to stealing the sculptures? Yes, I admit it. 18 years ago, I stole the Shabbat sculptures from, the mos from Monsieur Dover's room. It's just as Monsieur Edward says. I disguised the lift trolley as a service cart. And I served tea as I made my way back and forth. That wasn't all. I also took the ice block with all the star clusters on it. An ice block with star clusters on it? That seems familiar. A giant block of ice is being displayed here. It appears to be quite heavy. No, the inside must be hollow. The Winter Palace is a reproduction of Mr. Dover's room from 18 years ago. Because they had melted, my father never got the chance to see them. But those blocks of ice were also originally from Dover's sherbet salon. The two sculptures and the two blocks of ice, I took everything I could. And then I placed empty glass cases in Monsieur Dover's room. The sculptures were all encased in glass to preserve their fine details. But the ice blocks were being displayed as they were. But the ice blocks were, wait, as they were, as per, oh gosh. As per the rules, losing it. <laughs> as per the rules, we prepared the glass cases for Mr. Dover. Hmm, so it would have been easy for her to prepare the glass cases. In Monsieur Dover's room, there were some sculptures that were still unfinished. I thought if, it, if I melted them, it would look like the ones I stole had melted too. So everything you see in the Winter Palace are all original works from 18 years ago. Miss Hall, it didn't take much to get her to confess. Then she must know. She knows it isn't enough to try her in court. That is all I have to say. But even though I admit to stealing the sculptures, you can't arrest me for it. Because the statute of limitations is up. What? What do you mean by that? Heavens! You're assisting in an <clears throat> overruled. You're assisting an investigation without knowing this much. Perhaps you should read this book concerning the statute of limitations. Is that like a little kitty book about the statute of limitations? Statute of limitations? Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to check this out. Check. Murder is 15 years. Theft is 7 years. Well, it's definitely. <laughs> if the suspect flees to or lives in a foreign country, the time limit is on hold until the suspect returns. If possible, accomplices are on trial. If possible, accomplices are on trial, the countdown is stopped until the verdict is reached, then resumes. If charges are pressed to demand compensation, the statute is frozen for the length of that procedure. Okay. Oh god, this is gonna come into play where I'm gonna have to calculate how long she's gone or some shit. Did she go to France? To put it simply, it's the time frame in which a suspect can be taken to court. You can see it on this page. 
which I literally could have just waited a second and it would have showed me. <laughs> the statute of limitations for murder is 15 years and for theft, it's seven years. Ah! That's right. And Miss Hall's theft was 18 years ago. According to the statute, she cannot be arrested for stealing the sculptures. So that's how it is. Stealing evidence from a crime scene is an unforgivable offense. However, for this crime at least, we have no right to pass judgment. It appears that Prosecutor Edgeworth's tepid reasoning has all been for naught. Hmm. I wonder about that. I deduce Miss Hall's actions simply to expose a different crime. If she only took the sculptures, we wouldn't have found the body from 18 years ago. Are you saying that I hid Monsieur Dova's body? That's correct. But how can someone hide a body for 18 years? I would imagine it would be very difficult under normal circumstances. So you're saying the circumstances weren't normal? Are you claiming that you know where the body was hidden? When you consider Miss Hall's actions, the answer becomes obvious. 18 years ago, Miss Hall stole something more than just sherbet sculptures. If you're so confident, I'd like to hear your answer. Where did Miss Hall hide the body? Uh, the fountain? Uh, Oh my god, don't tell me she fucking hid the body in... She Okay, look, we went- okay. <laughs> in the second case, we got to a point where somebody used the dead body to counterbalance somebody during the play and like hung him down a hole. Please do not tell me that this woman put, that this woman used ice and put him in a sculpture, Sander Cohen from Bioshock style, and made him, anyway. This is the photograph of Mr. Dover's sculptures. Yes, and perhaps you've noticed that the victim's body can be seen in this picture. I do not see it. Please print... I do not see it. Please point it out clearly. Where in this picture can one see the body of the victim? She did not. 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 Oh my god. Point out the problematic area. Yeah, I'd say that's super problematic. I'm problematic. She's a problem. When she was 16, she hid a body in an ice sculpture. She's she's a problem. Oh my god. Yes, well it may look like the Gemini sculpture at first glance. In reality, this is none other than not Jesus! Fucking Christ! This is like... This is like one of the grimmest, most macabre ace attorneys I've come across. Like, they've had some weird, like, crazy shit happen, but like, this is dark. This is dark shit. And it's so bright. This... This ice sculpture... Was the victim's body? But all I can see from this picture is an ice sculpture statue. Objection. That's because a certain piece of evidence was used to conceal it. Conceal it? Which piece of evidence did Miss Hall use to conceal the body? Take that. This is the cloth that was covering the sculptures in the Autumn Palace. This cloth manipulates light. With it, the enti it's entirely possible to make something look like ice.
This woman... This woman would full Sander Cohen. If y'all don't know who that is, and you don't care about Bioshock spoilers, which I hope at this point you don't, that game came out in 2000. That game came out before this game came out. This game came out in 2011. Bioshock came out in 2007. So. Oh my god! <laughs> That's disgusting! That is disgusting! That is so gross! Ah! She, like, ice mummied him! Oh god! Okay. This- Oh my- Bioshock is fire! Let me- Okay, listen. If I ever become- I probably said this before, but I will say it again. If I ever become any kind of speedrunner, or if I do a speedrun of any kind, it might be Bioshock. Because that game- I have played that game forwards and backwards. I've played it on every single difficulty. I've beaten it on every single difficulty. I've beaten that game so many fucking times. I know that game. That game changed my life. I used to write- When I was in middle school, I used to write Bioshock fan fiction, okay? I love Bioshock. Bioshock is fire. But, holy shit, this woman put this man in ice. She put him on ice. <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> that wasn't very ice. That was pretty cold. Pretty cold of her. I mean, you gotta be careful though, kids, because it's a slippery slope. First you're stealing ice sculptures, and then you're making ice sculptures of dead bodies. Straight to murder! Uh. Well, that really snowballed, didn't it? Okay, I'm sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> I was just kind of... Anyway. Um, it's cold. <laughs> ice! Ice! Baby! <laughs> Isn't that right, Alicia? Yesy! When it glows red, it's like a raging inferno! And when it glows blue, you can almost feel the glittering cool ice. Overruled. Overruled. The cloth will only emit light when it's attached to a special device. Objection. Judge Courtney, look closely at the picture one more time. Beneath the Gemini case lies a box-shaped object attached to the pedestal. Duh. This, this is... A rainbow light device. Detective Gumshoe reported one in the Winter Palace. This is the device that went missing 18 years ago. Originally, it would have been attached to the cloth inside the glass case. Naturally, Miss Hall took the device with her when she moved the sculptures. By using the rainbow light device to make the fluorescent cloth glow, Mr. Dover's body was made to look like an ice sculpture. That's ridiculous. So then when Uncle Ray took a photo of the Winter Palace. That's right. The body had been in front of us all along, disguised as Gemini. However, the body and the fluorescent cloth were both discovered in the fountain. If the ice sculpture was the body, we would have found it in the Winter Palace. If we had found it there, her trick would have been revealed immediately. Miss Hall moved the body out of the Winter Palace to prevent us from discovering it. Absurd. You say she threw the body in the fountain without any of us noticing. <clears throat> no, Judge Courtney. There was no need for that. She simply used the same method as before. Remember the lift trolley? Ah! She moved the body to some other room and dumped it into the stream and dumped it into the stream to the fountain. Naturally, the frozen body would have sunk to the bottom of the fountain. That's why the cloth floated up first, and was found by Delicia. And eventually, the body thawed out and floated to the surface. God damn! That's so fucking dark! She dumped it in a river. Basically, she dumped the body in a river. It was frozen. A, fro a body that she froze for 18 years dumped it into a river where it floated to a fountain and then thawed and then floated to the top. Oh my God. <laughs> this game is like, you'd think it's lighthearted, but oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, Je Jesus Christ. 
cannot save us now because she threw a body in a river and it floated to the top. Holy shit. Monsieur Edgeworth, you truly have a gift for deductive reasoning. However, do you have any proof that I moved the body? If you cannot prove that, then there is no way I can accept what you are saying. Hmm. Wasn't there anyone who saw Miss Hall move the body? Uh, Larice. Yes, I believe such a person exists. The answers lie in the evidence that person gave me. And that piece of evidence will reveal the truth of Miss Hall's actions. Prosecutor Edgeworth, are you able to prove the crime of Miss Curator? Certainly. I have evidence that will show exactly what she did. Then, it's time to see your answer. Which piece of evidence reveals Miss Curator's actions? Take that. Another sketch. Oh, it appears I have been drawn in this one. This is a sketch Larry drew of the women at the fountain patio. I would like to direct your attention to the service cart on the left side of the sketch. Service cart? What about it? Hmm. Don't you see? What transpired 18 years ago has happened once again. Miss Hall was moving the body in this sketch. No! Please wait. I don't see Monsieur Dover's body anywhere in that drawing. All I did was hand out chocolates to everyone. Murder chocolates? The key detail in this sketch is the color of the tablecloth. Up until now, I thought Larry had just made a mistake. The tablecloth? It's light blue. It may be light blue in the sketch, but no blue tablecloths exist in this mansion. Not a single one! So many tablecloths, but not a single blue one. Perhaps it's light blue because the body was hidden, still glowing underneath the tablecloth. What? But the lift trolley is rectangular in the sketch. If she just placed the body in the lift trolley, we would notice it immediately. There were two blocks of ice in the Winter Palace that are completely hollowed out. If she put the body inside the block of ice, it would look like a service card. That's... Miss Hall, you put the body in the block of ice and used the lift trolley to move it, didn't you? I... I never imagined you would be able to deduce so much from just a single sketch. But what if it was just a mistake, like you said before? It doesn't prove anything. Hmm. I agree that alone the sketch is worthless. Yikes. <laughs> Once you remove the body, the service cart would revert back to a lift trolley. That's why the lift trolley was left behind in the fountain patio. And without the service cart, there would be no place for you to put your chocolates. The chocolates I gave everyone. Until then, the chocolates had sat on top of the service cart as you gave them away. But when you gave them to us, you took them from your pocket. Ah, now that you mention it, they were a bit melted. But they were still really sweet and tasty. So why was it necessary to put them in your pocket halfway through? Th that's because she wanted to save a few? I mean, that's kind of really reaching, but okay, we'll, we'll go with it. That's because once the body was disposed of, you no longer had a service cart. And everybody knows you don't hand people candy from your pocket. You have to have a full service cart. You uncultured swine. Ah! Overruled. Hold it right there. If she put the chocolates in her pocket and left the lift trolley in the patio, then where did the tablecloth go? If she had been forced to put the chocolates in her pocket, she wouldn't have had time to dispose of the tablecloth. Prosecutor Edgeworth, can you answer that for me? The tablecloth wasn't hidden. It's right in front of us. Oh, do clarify. The tablecloth used to hide the body. Where is it now? Miss Hall has it with her. She has to have it with her. That's the only explanation. Isn't it obvious? Miss Hall is carrying it with her out in the open. Uh... What? <laughs> Do clarify or it's hammer time. 
<laughs> Out in the open. Ah, you, you mean... Miss Hall. You are wearing the tablecloth around your waist. Yeah, I kind of figured that's where he was going, but I was like, are we really going there? The block of ice was not encased in a glass case. In other words, the tablecloth was in direct contact with the block of ice. If we have, if we have it examined, we will undoubtedly find traces of sherbet on it. Miss Hall, you will turn your tablecloth over to the police at once. There's no need to examine the tablecloth. It is just as you say. I stole the poison from Madame Delicia and I moved the body. <gasps> so dramatic. <laughs> I have done. I have done terrible things. Madame Delicia, I am so sorry. One week ago, I took your megatoxin X bottle. I slipped it into that man's pocket to make it look like suicide. And if they suspected it was murder, the evidence would point to Madame Delicia. Katie! Kate, what were you thinking? Weren't we always trying to save Mr. Master together? I could not let myself be arrested. Not until I had proven Monsieur Master's innocence. From the very beginning, I had planned to turn myself in once everything was over. But I suppose it is too late to say that now. Kate, why? Why would you go this far? Why, Kate? Why? Why? <laughs> Even for Monsieur Shields, I've caused nothing but trouble. For the past 18 years, I have been a criminal. The I-7 incident. Don't tell me that you were the true culprit. My greatest crime was stealing the German sculptures for my own selfish interests. When Monsieur Dover died, they were no longer just ordinary sculptures. They had become the final works of the sculpture Monsieur Masters does so deeply loved. What if... What if they melted before Monsieur Master returned? With that in mind, I couldn't let anyone touch them, not even the police. Even though I knew it was wrong, I moved them to the mansion's freezer. However, I only wanted to preserve Monsieur Dover's heart. I did not know his body was hidden among them. I'm kind of not believing her, but anyway. So she stole the sculptures without noticing the body. Monsieur Master would never take another person's life. But because of me, the body vanished and Monsieur Master was found <laughs> guilty. Ooh, what a transition. Kind man, he treated someone like me as family. He meant more to me than anyone else, and yet. Kate, when Monsieur Nestor was found guilty, I was chased out of this mansion. I was finally able to reclaim the mansion just a few days ago, but when I saw the sculpture still sleeping away in the freezer, I realized that I was the one who hid Monsieur Dober's body. However, the Statue of Limitations had... Statue. Statute! <laughs> the Statute of Limitations had already, already expired. Therefore, I... could think of no other way to atone for my sins. That was very, very dramatic. It appears I have misunderstood her. I don't know, but... Okay. It seems she caused this entire incident in order to save Mr. Master. What you thinking about, Mr. Edgeworth? There is one thing that has been bothering me this whole time. Why would Miss Hall plan a murder with such an uncertain method like poison gas? And then, the reason she disguised the Autumn Palace to look like the Winter Palace was to make those involved with the incident 18 years ago confuse the two rooms? Uh, I'm confused now. I wonder what Kate was trying to Oh, I wonder what Kate was trying to accomplish. Something's fishy. She was trying to prove Mr. Master's innocence. In that case, Miss Hall's true objective was... To find the true culprit. Perhaps she was trying to find the true culprit? 
Miss Hall, were you trying to prove Mr. Master's innocence? You wanted to reveal the true culprit and have the police find the body from 18 years ago. Was that not your true goal? By displaying those sculptures, you'd attract those involved with the past incident. Only two people would know where the body was hidden. You and the true culprit. The culprit would have panicked, knowing that the body would be displayed publicly. Yes, and if the culprit really showed up, there's the risk they'd erase their tracks. In the worst case scenario, they might have even stolen the body. So how could she protect the evidence while simultaneously luring in the culprit? <clears throat> I see. That's why she made the Autumn Palace look like the Winter Palace. Yes, and then, Miss Hall, you must have thought... Whoever opens the Pisces case, believing it to be the Gemini case, must be the true culprit of the I-7 incident. Gustavia. What? But that means that person is the true culprit? Please wait a moment, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Do you realize what you're saying? Do you intend to accuse that person of being the culprit behind the I-7 incident? Miss Hall was trying to trap the true, the true culprit. If so, wouldn't the person who fell for the trap be the true culprit? However, I have no evidence to back up my claims. If I make a formal accusation without any proof, it will not end well. Should I announce the true killer of Isaac Dover? Yes! What I should do is reveal the truth. In that case, there is no need to hesitate. Oh boy. Yes, that's correct. Judge Courtney, I indict this person as the true culprit behind the I-7 incident. Take that! Dane Gustavia, you fell victim to the poison gas, the true culprit of the I-7 incident. Mr. Gustavia. Miss Hall, didn't you believe that if you opened this gallery, the true culprit would come? That's why you set up the poison gas trap, is it not? You truly have a gifted mind, just like your father. It is as you say, Monsieur Edgeworth. Now, would you please tell us the whole truth? Yes, I have nothing more to hide. I will tell you everything. I set a trap in the gallery to find the true culprit. Before the gallery opened, I left only the autumn palace unlocked. At opening time when I went around to unlock its room, I discovered that the autumn palace had been locked from the inside. I knew that the tr true culprit was on the other side of the door. My hand was... trembling. All that was left for the trap to do... All that was left was for the trap to do its work. When I heard Monsieur Gustavia was exposed to the poison gas, I realized he was the culprit. And I thought that if the police discovered Monsieur Dover's body, it would prove Monsieur Master's innocence. Why didn't you ever come talk to me? There might have been another way. I know that you did everything you could for me over the past 18 years. However, all of this had been brought on by my own crime. That's why I wanted to save Monsieur Marcel as soon as possible. So she hid the body on accident? Or wait, no, the culprit hid the... It's still really fucking dark. Even if she's not the... the it's still really dark. <laughs> okay. Not only that, the police hid the fact that the body went missing 18 years ago. Even if I reported the body, there was a chance that the truth would be hidden again. That's why I caused the incident at the museum's opening, with as many witnesses as possible. I'm sorry. Gregory, Mr. Master, and even you, I couldn't protect anyone. Mr. Shields? You must be tough on him as well. The one who should be apologizing is me. Monsieur Edgeworth, Monsieur Seals, I'm terribly sorry. 
I shall accept whatever punishment I am given. However, I must ask of you. Please clear Monsieur Mestel's name. The truth that was hidden for 18 years was revealed in an unexpected manner. However, to think that things would end this way. Nah, fam. Nah. Nah, son. Nah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. No, we... We saving. We saving. Boop. We making a save state. We making a save state. Boop, boop, beep, up. Oh boy. What a dramatic. Fucking Larry in the back there. Miss Hall, have you composed yourself? Yes. What you did, no matter the reason, was unforgivable. Yes, I know. However, you committed this crime in order to prove Mr. Master's innocence. If the true culprit is someone else, we have a duty to reinvestigate. Ah, <gasps> oh, goddammit. <laughs> no false evidence from the I-7 incident remains in the official case files. Moreover, there's no evidence to lend credence to Miss Hall's testimony. We should first arrest Miss Hall as the culprit behind today's incident. We cannot be certain that all the case files are accurate. After all, the prosecutor in the case has a history of forging evidence. Are you suggesting that the PIC overlooks such a prosecutor? That's none of my concern. The truth is that evidence was falsified. And the fact that Dover's body from 18 years ago was just discovered proves it. Oh, shit. We got her. Prosecutor Edgeworth. I can see remnants of Prosecutor Von Karma within you. What did you say? Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Ooh! 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 You tried to deceive the PIC and fabricate the truth. Let me inform you of my... Or rather, the PIC's logic. Oh, shit! We go and toe-to-toe -to -toe with her again? Bruh! I acknowledge that Prosecutor Von Karma fabricated the information about the body. However, he successfully convicted Mr. Master as an accomplice. I believe that the true culprit was Miss Curator herself. She even attempted to murder Mr. Gustavia today in order to pin the blame on him. Is that really what the PIC believes? Yes, every word I utter is for the sake of law and order. It seems she intends to hide the, tr the truth for the sake of the PIC. At this rate, neither Mr. Master nor Miss Hall will be saved. Justine is such an ass and yet I love her. It's cause she's... We're, we're, she's gonna get the turnaround. Every every prosecutor villain of the Ace Attorney gets gets like a, a big moment where we, we learn to love them. It's bound to happen. You're, you're just, you're just like preemptively loving her. If you acknowledge that, why won't you reopen the case? The goddess of law does not err in her judgments. While Prosecutor Von Karma may have used underhanded oh, tactics. Oh. If you ask me, it's all been bogus ever since Von Karma fabricated evidence. And you claim that just justice was served? What is the PRC thinking? I can already declare my verdict. There's no need for further investigation. Let's hear your explanation on the matter, then. If he successfully convicted him as an accomplice, why did- hold on. It was changed, though, wasn't it? I'm gonna press, but... I heard that the biggest factor in Mr. Master's conviction was his confession. If Prosecutor Von Karma had a hand in his confession, the ruling may not be just. The initial investigation was handled by Detective Rip Lacer. He was the one who obtained the confession, according to the official reports. All I can say is that the ruling has already been handed down. Jeez, why does Miss Courtney have to be so stubborn? Is the PIC so high and mighty? 
They sure seem like the arch, arch enemy of prosecutors, to say the least. Hmm, so they're kind of like what the police are to great thieves. Says the great thief who nonchalantly works alongside the police. I believe the true culprit was the mis- uh, Hold on, hold on, Justy, hold on. Are you saying that both Miss Hall and Mr. Master are murdered Isaac Dover? Mr. Master committed the murder while Miss Curator moved the body. That's what I believe. What? How could you say that? We would never kill Monsieur Dover. Did you not steal the body and preserve it for 18 years? It is only natural to suspect you of being an accomplice. She has already confessed to her crimes, and now is not the time to judge her of her past crimes. In that case, let's judge Miss Hall for her current crime. If she wanted to pin the crime on somebody, why choose Mr. Gustavia? Perhaps Mr. Gustavia suspected Miss Hall was the criminal. As he attempted to confirm whether, whether or not the Gemini sculpture was genuine, he was caught in a trap meant to silence him forever. Can you prove that theory? Mr. Gustavia is currently teetering on the brink of death. There's probably no way to prove it unless he regains consciousness. In other words, there's nothing we can do for now. That can't be true. There must still be something we can do. You still don't get it, do you? Allow me to give you a clearer explanation. We already have ample evidence with both. What is that, though? By ample evidence, you mean... For the I-7 incident, we have a body, the murder weapon, and a pair of suspects. For the poison gas incident, we have the two chemicals and Miss Hall's confession. Furthermore, I have finished collecting all of the evidence necessary. For your own PIC hearing, Prosecutor Edgeworth. What? H how can you say something like that so casually? Miles, you know you're always welcome to join the Edgeworth Law Offices. <laughs> Judge Courtney, I'd like to ask you that you refrain from making such needless remarks. Hmm, I understand. Well, regardless... There's no need to investigate. Are you saying that there is nothing left for us to investigate? We've already exhausted all the ins in regards to the evidence. This court will accept no further deliberations. I shall now deliver my verdict for the defendant, Catherine Hall. I hereby pronounce you... Hold it! There is still... See, why... Whatever. That was actually a need for an objection, but why did they... Whatever. Hold it, there's still need for a further investigation. If you wish to halt my verdict, please do so with evidence. That is, if there is any evidence that requires further deliberation. I cannot allow this case to end here. There is still something that needs to be cleared up. Looks like I'll have to show Judge Courtney something to convince her. Um... Nope, that was wrong. Okay, cool. Well, I'll move on. <laughs> I cannot authorize this statement because it's obvious you're bluffing. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh Hmm Objection. Damn it. Okay. Nope. Uh Oh dear. <laughs> Midna's in my lap. So snuggly. 
Oh, and she, okay, she didn't like that I called attention to it, I guess. She got up. <laughs> Actually, at a loss. I'm actually very confused. She's nothing like Mr. DeVest, who, by the way, is somewhere else. I'm just trying shit now. I don't know. I'm just gonna save state and save state. <laughs> I'm save scumming. I know. I'm terrible. Um. Oh god. Okay. Acknowledge that Prosecutor Von Karma fabricated information about his body. Okay, cool. However, he successfully convicted Mr. Master as an accomplice. I was thinking this, but apparently that was not correct. Yes, his body was... Oh, God. Autopsy report. There's nothing left to investigate. Already exhausted all of our... Objection. But we ha we still don't have... to do with the autopsy report. Am I off? Like, am I totally off? Objection. So it's not- okay. I'm like wasting my health at this point.
Fucking hell, man! I'm really stuck. Uh, I'm gonna load. Cause I, I'm kinda low on health, so. Ah! I don't know, the chocolate. Fucking. Ah! What am I missing? Okay, identical. Maybe his son? God! Okay, I'm looking it up because I'm like, I, gen I genuinely do not know what to do. I like, I don't know what they're trying to like point me towards. Turnabout, that's what it's called, isn't it? Uh. Liquid, wait, I'm supposed to present the liquid at there's no need to investigate? why though I really don't understand why that is supposed to be there's still one piece of evidence from the i7 incident that remains unsettled take a look at this this is this is the forensics result oh my gosh this is the forensic results from the Gemini sculpture that melted in the winter palace according to the results of the analysis traces of someone's blood were found who does this blood belong to until we know the answer, this case is still open. Really? That was wow. It didn't even mention that in the. It just said that they were the same composition. Hold on. Hold on. Did it even say that? I 
I guess. Traces of salt, sugar, and blood. That's it, though. That's it. It doesn't even say, like, whose blood is this, or... God, it doesn't give, like, any indication that that's still a question. It just, it just kind of... And it was in the Gemini case, right? Wouldn't you assume that it was from the dead body? Anyway, that's... Wow. That threw me. There was a blood mix mixed in with the remains of the Gemini sculpture. I heard nothing of this from Sebastian. Well, Sebastian's incompetent, so... This was a report from Detective Gumshoe. I had planned to tell Mr. DeBest myself. Hmm. So even though you had no investigative authority, you still did as you please. I shall report everything that transpired today to the PIC. I will not avert my eyes from the truth, nor shall I overlook the mistakes of the past. If you wish to report my actions to the PIC, be my guest. But in exchange, I want you to let me investigate this case to the very end. It is not my place to decide such things. I must ask that you check with Sebastian regarding this matter. Hey, good news, you guys! Oh, he's up! He's up! Thanks to our early detection, Mr. Gustavia's life was saved! Mr. Gustavia? So, he's alive. Would you be the ones who saved my life? Hey, Mr. Gustavia! Hmm? You are... Sir Assistant, are you not? You've grown so big this time. This one is your assistant then. N no, I'm... <laughs> He's an assistant candidate and Gregory Edgeworth's son. I am Miles Edgeworth, a prosecutor. <laughs> what a twist of fate. I am in your debt. It is thanks to you that I have completely recovered. <laughs> There's no need for thanks. Since you're alive, we can reach the truth behind the incident 18 years ago. Hmm? What do you speak of? While you were unconscious, the truth has started to come to light. You may be Isaac Dover's murderer. Oh shit. <laughs> what? Really? Miss Hall was looking for the criminal behind the events of 18 years ago. That's why she set up the poison gas in the Pisces case. Mr. Gustavia, the events of the incident 18 years ago. Tell us what really happened. So you wish to remain silent? Nah, I think he's just meditating. He can sleep standing up? What a useful skill to have! Meditation is different from sleeping, though. Mr. Gustavia, please tell us what you did 18 years ago. <laughs> I'm the criminal because I fell for the trap. That's not a very funny joke. I am a victim, not a culprit. Mr. Gustavia, it has not yet been made clear whether or not you are a criminal. This is only the, their baseless speculation. Do not concern yourself with the drivel of a prosecutor without jurisdiction. <sighs> At least there is one person here who understands. My name is Justine Courtney. I'm a judge. If you would like, I would be happy to assist you. Let us show Prosecutor Edward the truth of 18 years ago. <sighs> Understood. I shall prove my innocence to you, Sir Prosecutor. And that will be where I end tonight. And we will get to his testimony next time. Because I'm very eager to see what he has to say for himself. Also, I'm very excited to do his accent again. Because I really like speaking like that. It's really fun. Um, okay, that's that's enough. That, that's enough saves, saves for now. I'm going to close that walkthrough because I don't want to see anything else. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for, uh, for tuning in onto a, a Wednesday stream that wasn't art. I uh, hope, hope you didn't miss the art too much. I'll be back to some normal scheduling, uh, probably next week. But, um, speaking of scheduling, I'm gonna be playing more Ace Attorney on Friday, so you won't have to wait very long to see the thrilling conclusion of, uh, <clears throat> the Inherited Turnabout, which is what this chapter is called, about sweets and ice sculptures and bodies being preserved for 18 years encased in frozen sherbet and then thrown into a river uh anyway <laughs> dark 
Um, if you haven't uh, already, go ahead and give me a follow if you liked what you uh, you, you like what you saw. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Even if you you don't chat, I love all my lurkers. I I know y'all are out there. Um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram for updates on stuff. Uh, thank you for playing tonight. Sorry that. Oh, it's okay. Oh my gosh, no, you you don't need to be sorry about that. No, 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 no. I'm sorry that I'm not like like cranking out my commission for you. Like you are you are totally fine. Truly, you're fine. Um uh anyway, yeah, I will be getting back to uh working on commissions and stuff. And my commissions are open. I really have a lot of slots open. So if if you if you have any artistic needs, I am open for business. Um, but yeah, I, uh, if you want to just DM me on Twitter and Instagram, I'm open for that. Uh, so yeah, my social medias are sliding down there. I'm at Breezlebit on everything. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a good Wednesday, Wednesday day, if that's where you're at, I guess, uh, cause you know, time is weird or a good Wednesday night. It's night for me. So I'm probably gonna, I'm going to go to bed cause I'm tired and I have to work tomorrow cause I always have to work <laughs> cause I do have like a, a, re a regular job. Um. But yeah, thanks again, and uh, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.